and welcome back. Professor Taylor was the second death caused by his damned curiosity. Now we have the machine room. This is one I actually like a great deal, because, for one thing, it's safe. But it's also just an interesting room. It has some neat puzzles, one of which foiled me for a moment, as I'll explain. First, a note. 5th of July, 1839. Today, I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful, and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may, in fact, have inspired the Globus Crucifer, which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. Now, this will be one of the rare cases where I actually use a tinderbox, at least to this point. Uh, because, first of all, there's two right over here. But mostly because, if you stand over here, despite the fact that there's a light right there, Daniel gets scared. Now, uh, earlier in the game, there was mentioned uh, a note where it says 8 up and 8 down. As you can see, these levers can be moved in either direction. So, you just arrange it so that they say 8 here and 8 here. It reminds me a bit of Mist, though far less complicated. And I think I screwed that up, didn't I? Yes, I did. There. There we go. That's that. Using a tinderbox there not only saves some fuel for the lantern, it also just makes it a bit easier to see and prevents Daniel from going insane because he's in the dark. And again, I understand, yes, he has a phobia, but still, that seems like a bit excessive. As Daniel himself said of something else. Those are important. Keep holding. And over here you can make out, hopefully, a circle, a triangle, and a square. Those uh, correspond to the three float the three rods you have. There's the four-phase amplitude rod, which goes in the four-sided slot. Next, there is the Trinity steam rod. Now this one confused me, because Trinity can, in Christian uh, beliefs, refer to the Trinity of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, which is represented by a circle. Interesting note, at least to me. That's also why uh, in music the circle was used to was uh, used to represent uh, three something time. I don't remember exactly what, <laughs> but it was considered the perfect time because it represented the, per the three, which is the perfect number to do to the Trinity and represented by a circle. But I am rambling because I can't even remember what I was going to say here. Anyway, it goes in the, in the triangle slot, not the circle slot. I thought I was being clever. And finally, the flow cycle rod goes in the circle slot, and all rods turn out. Yeah, that's how that works. 14th of July, 1839. I've read every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others. From a baron in Prussia. He said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know. I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. What am I to make of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenburg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful. 
with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate, in hope that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. Kids, don't do drugs. Unless they're like, really good drugs. Or if someone offers you them in some candy in a, in a van. Because, uh, that would probably be me. All I have to do here is, uh, record Amnesia Let's Plays. I'm very low. So anyway, uh, yeah, you just put that there. Look for the other ones. Can't remember exactly where they are at the moment. But look for them. There's one. Grab this. Uh, both of this. And there. Oh, and there's another note. 17th of July, 1839. How has this escaped me? They're all dead. Limbs scattered, heads split down the middle, their skin flayed as if boiled. I feel like I'm falling into myself. What's happening? Sir William Smith, Professor Taylor, now Dr. Tate. Is it following me? How can it not be? It's the damn thing I brought from Africa. Something is after me. I have no choice but to trust the Baron. He better know what he claims. If he is wrong, I suspect he'll regret it as well. Oh, and we'll make him regret it. Alright then, uh, let's see, we need one more of those cogs, gears, whatever they are. Ah, oh, there's one. How oh, handy. And it's probably a good idea not to run into things. That. Now all that remains is to do this. That. Duck in here. Get a, a refill on our oil. You know, the first time I played through, maybe it's because I was running much lower on oil. I, I found much more of it in these containers. I wonder if it tracks it somehow. Now then, what we're doing is we're picking up lumps of coal and putting them in here. You know, working in a coal mine, going down, 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 working in a coal mine, whoop, almost killed by birds. And I, I apologize to Lee Dorsey, that's not how the song goes. Anyway, following the video game rule of three, put up, put up three clumps of coal in there, coal this level. Here's fire. Pull that. And there you have it, crystal clear. But only for a moment. Because it's the shadow. That, by the way, explains the entire uh, reason for most of this game in two words. Because shadow. Ah! Stop that! Ah! Fuck! I hate you! I hate you and you're not my friend. And you can't come to my birthday party. I'm going the wrong way. Ah, no, stop. Now see, now it's lowered me a health level. All because I kept blundering it. That's the worst it's ever been. Anyhow, that's it for the machine room. Last time that happened, they filled up with water and the camera was there. Luckily not this time. The ride over here now is the elevator which should be working now. And so, this is as far as I've ever gone before. More or less. And in the next part we'll go to the prison. And you'll get to see my first reaction to that. See you!